we have a, a traffic light system currently before we move to mass no problem. So we have red, amber and green questions for an activity. Um, and so I've used them for the, the green activities. So for children who are feeling very confident based on, on the lesson we've had, the problem we've done, the uh, hinge question that we might have done. They're feeling really confident and actually they want some challenge. So that's where I put these questions. Um, so they can um, use the skill that we've taught, that we've looked at, and apply it to a, a difficult multi-step problem. I put it onto a screen um, and then I gave them a copy on their tables. Um, but I gave it to my whole class because I just wanted to see which of my children might be able to access that because I knew it was going to be a challenge but I just wanted to see and it kind of reflected the fact that my children who were not as secure in, in their, their place value weren't as able to, to solve it. Certainly the children who, who needed that extra stretch were going to those challenges and the ones who wouldn't have been appropriate to weren't really considering them because they were challenged enough by the work in their workbooks or in the guided practice. Yeah, I think it's about getting that culture read that, that it's I'm really celebrating when a child says I'm not sure about something I need more support and that that's okay. I've encouraged children doing these questions to work independently of an adult so if they're finding it difficult the option is not to come and work with me or another adult the option is to work with a, a peer. Um, and I think children working in twos and threes have had more success. They've been able to spot, oh, we've missed a part there, or we've missed a bit of information. Um, I think rarely have children done it all by themselves. Um, I do have a couple who, who, who have been able to do that, but not always successfully. It definitely strikes me as being very useful as a homework resource, or if we are looking at things like growth mindset, just posing it, even posing it to more than just the top 5% to see um, because that's something that surprised us a few times as well already with the, the great adept stuff that we've encountered in maths, no problem, and things like the mind workout. Sometimes the, the children you least expect turn around and smash it. So um, I think we'll continue to evolve how we use it, more than happily take advice and see what else is, is happening out there.